girl, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Ivy K in the building. So, I don't know it's been a minute, but we're back. We're back again. We're back again. show by Kai where we talk about real things doing real things yeah yeah so we have a favorite guest today what's up how you doing i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine now what's your name tell us your name um my name is rafael hola miguki ikuyini just to mention a few <laughs> <laughs> tell us a bit about yourself ah uh, well i am a student of the university of lagos i am 20 years old studying human resource management yeah, that's basically all that you need to know about me. Ah, nice. So, what do you do? I am a mobile phone repairer and I'm into child's rights advocacy. Yeah. Child rights advocates. That sounds something a lot of nice things. So, tell us more about it. Uh, well, when I was in secondary school, I was nominated into the Lagos State Children's Parliament. And then I was elected as the speaker of the parliament and, you know, you know, as a children parliament, we advocate the rights of children, we do um, programs, projects, we make legislations to, you know, you know, basically improve the welfare of children in the states and all of that experiences has given me that interest in, you know, helping children, helping young people grow. And even when my tenure was over, which ended early this year, I started a child rights initiative called the Future Child Initiative. So we basically do events and programs to advocate the rights of children and you know expose them to the knowledge of their rights. Wow, I really see passion. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what was the biggest challenge? Well, generally people tend to have this little perception about children. You know, when you talk about children, the they are associated with naivety, ignorance, you know, exuberance, and all of that. But uh, children are more than that. Even when I was, I'm no longer a child, but when I was a child, I knew the things I knew. I, I knew what, what I was capable of. So that perception of you are still a child, you can't do anything, you don't know anything, uh, there has been a stigma that has been on children for a while, and I think it's 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 one big challenge that we need to address. Okay, so what are you currently working on right now? Okay, um, my initiative, the Future Child, we we are collaborating with the National Children's Parliament to have an event. The theme for the event is Child's Rights and What's Right. So it's an event that we've been put together to you know talk about child's rights and how we can use that knowledge in doing the right thing. So um, that is what we've been working on, partnering with other state children's parliament and the Federal Ministry of Indian Affairs to you know, make the event a success. Wow. So what has been the most discouraging moment in putting this whole project together? Wow. First of all, working with people you've not met before can be very challenging because these are people from different states, people from people that have different ideologies and understanding yeah. different from yours. Yeah. So trying to first of all sell the vision to them that okay this is what you want to do. Having them to understand and then then you know making sure that they do what they're supposed to do it's it's a lot of work but God is helping us to you know Yeah, so there's been a lot of question about religion and governance. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on this? What do you do you think Christians should be in government or how do you, how does it affect government basically? Well, um, for me I think Christians being in government is actually biblical because you know the government is the body of people that are that administer the affairs of the people and People who I think are in the best position to do that are those that have the interest of, um, that, that are God-fearing, first of all, that love God, that do the will of God, and that are trustworthy, and also, you know, uh, they are honest, honest people. So I think all of that has been highlighted in the Bible, I think in Exodus 18-21. So it is actually scriptural, 
that Christians ought to be in mm -hmm. governance so that you know the will of God will prevail in that land. Yeah, thank you, Auntie Nikki. So, um, do you consider yourself being an extrovert or introvert? Uh, I think I'm introverted. Though it may, it may not seem that way, but I'm an introvert. I like to, yeah, I like to keep to myself, process yeah. thoughts. And Your usual times, I mean, when you're bored, what do you do? Apart from, uh, as in, I want to, we want to know you. What do you do about from government? <laughs> Anything government? Well, I am a movie enthusiast. I watch yes, movies. that's not for yeah. I watch movies. Like, for those that know me, they know I, I am a fan of the flash. Like, Rihanna. I'm the so fastest man so alive. You can tell us everybody. I will be tell you everything. I'm like, from this one down to this. Oh, God, we don't have to <laughs> So, um, if you don't need to work for money, what would you do? What would you be doing? I would definitely be doing something that's connected to my passion, which is talking. So I would, I would be a teacher. Okay. I love the teaching for free. Mm -hmm. I like to, I like to talk and impart knowledge. Nice, very nice, amazing, amazing. Okay, so what advice would you give to teenagers that have passion for governance? For governance. I think um, for me the first step is knowing who you are and what you want to do because oftentimes what you want to do is tied to who you are. So first of all, identifying who you are, your identity, and then knowing what you want to do and then start doing something about it. You're not too young to do something with your life. You're not too young to know what you want to do. Knowing what you want to do helps you to stay focused because as young people we there are a lot of distractions and you know things that we like to waste our time doing things that we don't have business doing in the first place but when you know what you want to do it channels your thoughts and your actions so the you start early and when you start early you have an advantage of time being a young person and then you excel faster So let's play a game. All right. It's called this or that. Okay. So you pick. I ask you questions, then you're going to pick the one you prefer. Right. So first one, TikTok or Thriller? Thriller. Thriller. Nice. Call or chat? Chat. Chat. Yeah. Okay. Android or iOS? I'm good with Android. <laughs> so Android. you do like iOS? I do like iOS, but I prefer Android. Why? Simplicity. Hot or cold tea? Hot tea. Hot tea. Yeah, the one that burns your tongue. I feel like we need hot tea right now. I believe. Yeah. Should we go and come out back? No. Pizza or burger? Pizza. Very good. Plain or shoot? Plain. Um, hard copy or soft copy? Soft copy. <laughs> um, bikes or cars? Yes. Uh, the Shoes or sandals? Shoes. Um, Netflix or YouTube? YouTube. So, we've come to the end of today's show with our favorite guest here today, Honorable Raphael. That's, That's right. what you call it because it's, it's an honorable. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for showing up today. It's a pleasure. Thank we you for having me. So catch us next time on our YouTube channel, Giant Slayer TV. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also follow us on our Instagram page, DCC David Army and David Army ISL.